Hello and welcome to a new lesson with me, Maha, teaching you Arabic. I already dedicated many um, lessons and many YouTube videos on uh, how to write the letters. So I think if you have practiced or if you have followed my uh, videos, by now you know how to write and to read, um, including the vocalization, the small vocalizations, the long ones and the short ones. I got a lot of emails and uh, messages and comments um, asking me to uh, dedicate one lesson about um, how to greet somebody in Arabic. So from now on I will uh, like let go the, the alphabet and the writing system, but I will concentrate more on teaching you um, like um, necessary phrases um, for you to be able also to make a conversation in Arabic. So today I'm going to concentrate on the greetings, the first things that we say when we meet an Arabic person. Um, the normal hello in Arabic has two forms. The first one is Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. It's made out of two words. I'm writing everything now here underneath. Um, Assalamu Alaikum means peace upon you. Peace upon you all. Assalamu alaikum. The response is switching the words and adding a small wa at the beginning, which means and. So if I switch assalamu alaikum and add wa at the beginning, I get wa alaikum assalamu. So assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalamu. You can practice making it um, faster. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalamu. So it's um, this is the most um, common way to greet somebody if it's in the day or evening or uh, it doesn't matter. It's all the time. It's it's used as a, a major greeting word for in Arabic. Uh, it's mostly used by Muslims and not by Christians. Also Christians use it, but it's. Uh, it's um, a greeting that e not e um, let's say not only Arabs use it, uh, but also Muslim people use it. For example, Sen Senegali people that come from Senegal, they are not Arabic, but they are Muslim, and that's why they all always also um, greet their, themselves Assalamu Alaikum. So it's not only used in the Arabic language; it's also used for motives of religion, Islam religion, um, and that's why also none. Arab people speak, uh, say Assalamu Alaikum. Okay, um, another way to greet somebody which is more familiar and, and more friendly way, uh, not I don't mean friendly, I mean between friends um, and people that we know good, it's Marhaban. Marhaban, it's like hi and hello in English, so it's more like hi. Marhaban, Marhaban, and the response is Ahlan, Ahlan. So, marhaban, hi, and if you respond, ahlan, nobody repeats marhaban like hi, hi, no, we usually have an answer for every greeting that we have, so, marhaban, ahlan. Now, if you add a small word to the word ahlan, which is a response to marhaban, it becomes welcome, it will mean welcome, so the word is ahlan, wasahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan means welcome. Okay, uh, let's move on to uh, good morning. If I want to greet somebody in the morning, I should say Sabahu al khair. Sabahu al khair. Sabah means morning. Al khair means good. So we actually switch the words, not like in English. We say morning of good. So Sabahu al khair. The answer of Sabahu al khair is Sabahu an-nur, morning of light. So we repeat the word morning, sabah, but we add light, nur. So we wish somebody um, morning full of light, and this is very good. Sabahu an-nur, so again, sabahu al-khair is good morning. Sabahu an-nur is the response for somebody that tells me good morning. Okay, now good evening. Is only changing the word sabah, which is morning, to evening, which is masa. So again, masa'u al khair, masa'u al khair, and as you already, I think you guess already, it's the response is masa'u an nur, masa'u an nur. So it's the same structure. 
Only that it doesn't make a lot of sense that we wish somebody an evening full of light, but this is the way we greet people. And it's good also, you know, evening full of light. <laughs> All right. So, um, if you want to ask, let me see just how much time do I have. Okay. Um, if you want to say, um, how are you to somebody, if it's a male, if it's a, per a boy, I should say, Kaifa haluka. Kaifa haluka. Kaifa is how. Haluka is your state, your um, being. Hal is um, situation. Hal means situation. So, haluka is your situation and I'm going to teach you about the possessive um, um, possessive adjectives later it's your state or his state so um, it, it comes later in the lesson so kaifa haluka is how are you asking a, a male and kaifa haluki changing the small um, vocalization at the end haluki is I'm asking um, to a female how are you? So, kaifa haluka, male, kaifa haluki, female. And the answer would be, ana, I am, bikhair, fine, bikhair. If you remember the word from good morning, um, sabahu al khair, so we have this word good, fine, in the middle also here, so we, we use it in both cases. Ana, bikhair, shukran. Shukran is thank you. Shukran. Okay, I think I should stop here. I will do another um, lesson continuing the greetings. Where are you from? How old are you? And etc. Now I'm going to going to repeat what we learned today. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam. Kaifa haluka and kaifa haluki. Ana bi khair. Shukran. صباح الخير صباح النور مساء الخير مساء النور I'll see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.